Hello and welcome to episode 48 of our Midlands map. We have a series first coming up. <laughs> yes, I think I just heard a train back there. I wonder if we're actually going to get one today. Ah, uh, what are we doing? I sounded a bit like Kermit then, that was a bit weird. We are going to be connecting rugby up to at least Coventry today. Hoping it won't be too difficult. With that in mind, we've got two new stations to look at. Not new refurbished stations on the west coast main line we're going to be doing that first i think i hear a train falling up yes anyhow series first guess the station here comes a chilton's train train today's station master has retained the keys to the station it is jesse 101 gaming congratulations you are the first to retain the title uh, you've got a bit of a win streak going on of two. Which is one better than anyone else this season. A fine display of station knowledge. Well, our version of it. So do you want to know what station it is? As our, as our train pulls away. It is Stratford-upon-Avon, of course. Uh, this bit. Do you know... I'm tempted to bring in some of these old lines at some point. Towards the end of the series. There goes our Chilton train. Train. Does he does he carry many? He's got 13 on board. Is he going to pick up any here? We could bring up this. He did. Picked up a few. I like it. They must be... Uh, well, we can have a look, can't we? If we click on here. Where are people going? Passengers, they are go. Look at them! Wilmcote, Emily and Arden, Henley, even. Funnily enough, Henley and Arden, one of the stations which has been upgraded or refurbished. I wonder if anybody's going Solly Hull. Barely, barely, <laughs> barely. Well, they've got Wood End, Whitlock's End, Shirley, Yardley Wood. Cra That's brilliant. I love that. All right, things are picking up down there. There's a busy station up here too. As he heads off, should we go and take a look at uh, the refurbished Tile Hill and Henley and Arden? For those that have been on Discord, you'll notice we're just going to sit here. There's another train pulling up. That'll be the uh, West Midlands train service. Yes, as I was saying. Uh, if you were in Discord, you would have seen a sneak peek of what the new Henley and Arden looks like. And if you're a, uh, oh, there's two, tra oh, that's a, oh, what's going on there? Lovely. Let's not all block each other. Who's going to be let, oh, okay. Interesting choice. I guess he's got the speed. Look at that. That's beautiful. I didn't expect that to happen. So that was a, uh, a rare, <laughs> a rare experience of some, some raw junction action. He's probably going to pull in the back behind this signal. He should go. There he goes. I love that. So there's our junctions and our real networks in action. Obviously, they're not timetabled, so... They'll occasionally be a bit of a queue, but in real life, there's occasionally a bit of a queue behind a red light and trains stacked behind each other. So oh, I think we can accept that. Off goes our Chilton service. And no one else around. Anyhow, yes, let's let's go ahead and take a look. I'm I'm a little lost now. Where are we? There's the Royal Leamington Spa. We're up this way, aren't we? Far up this way. There we go. It's looking a bit better. Personally, I think it's looking a bit better. Now we got this bridge is more more like the uh, the one that when you're coming into oh it's oh we have a train here let's let's take a look For, because we're getting close to the west coast main line being almost or a good chunk of it complete uh, we've got to start thinking about cab ride videos for those that enjoy those Ed, what do you reckon to that that other bridge is the footbridge that goes over a little bit of the station I just put it in why not serves no purpose but it looks kind of cool look when we stop underneath it i like that 
So yeah, and if you were a, a Patreon backer and or a YouTube member, which we do have one now, thank you so much to that one person. I don't know whether you want me to say your name, so I'll just say thank you. You know who you are. Uh, I did a little, I did a couple more icons for live chat, which is a segue. There is a, a channel versary coming up next month where we'll we'll do some live streaming or something for that month. I don't know what what's going to happen yet. Definitely going to be a live stream on the day. It's going to be a Monday, randomly. So probably a Monday evening. We'll see what see what everybody thinks to that. And uh, we'll probably play some Transport Fever, perhaps. And back to the East Coast Main Line, where it's a, in a bit of a bit of disarray. Right, so, yes, we're off to Berkswell at the moment. We're staying on board because the next station I've done is is on this route. Of course, we're, we're currently on the West Coast Main Line. And I've, I've done some scenery at the sides of the track, and I'm liking the looks of it so far. It, it's kind of almost ready for cab rides. Obviously, it'll be a bit, a bit short. With us connecting rugby today, we should be able to... He looks bored, doesn't he? We should be able to... Uh, ooh! Lovely. What is that? That would be cross-country. Straight through. I love it. This is going to get really busy. What was I saying? Oh no, I forgot what I was saying. Got distracted by the dude staring into the sky at the, at the station. And then by a cross-country service come flying around the corner. Worth it, maybe. What was I talking about? Yes, no, I remember. <laughs> Since we're connecting rugby up, and uh, we'll be able to extend some of our current services, because some of them do stop at rugby, and we'll, we might be able to add a few more. If possible, we'll, we'll head over and connect up to Nuneaton as well today. And then uh, on Sunday, we'll we'll do the other side of... Uh, oh, here we are, Tile Hill. Look at this. New new station for Tile Hill, or new surroundings. The station's pretty much the same. Is that a Virgin service? So we had Cross Country, West, West Midlands trains, and a Virgin service passing us the other way. That is beautiful. So yes, Tile Hill's had a bit of a makeover. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll get out now, because everything's about the same. So I did this. we got this uh, lovely grass thing going on. It, it's a nice bit of scenery for the cab rides. And uh, we have this bridge going across now, which they've started to use. Unfortunately, <laughs> the smoke goes straight through it. Well, what can you do? Do you like it? Is that a better Tile Hill? I like it. I like that. I thought I'd show you. I was going to save it till the cab ride and you'd be like, what is that? But if we ever have these as guest the station, then it's a little unfair because they've been changed a lot. We don't take a look at... Uh, I almost got this right. This is a new mod. We're going to take a look at that shortly. Is that a plane in the background? I can see it. I wonder if people are on board that yet. We're going to head this way. Follow the smoke and uh, just take a quick look around here. It's all blocked off now, so they can't build that way. I've raised up, uh, where is this? Yeah, Hampton in Arden. I've raised it up a touch because it is more in a cutting than uh, than level. And we got people building back. I'm mean, letting them build this side because there are houses that side. Um, we've got the bus stops here. I think this is going to turn out quite nice. They, they do reach. Um, this is a cool little uh, bus stop. We've, we've seen those before. I put them on the trams. These are just the standard lights that come with it. And uh, that's about... Oh, oh dear, that's smoky. And then it's just normal paths and, and fences. And there's our bridge. What it actually is, is just a, a bit of ballast going across there. And then I built a footbridge. We might do more of those. Because I think they add to it. It's just built with all the usual blocks. Oh look. There comes our, our virgin service flying through. 
Or not flying through because he's hit a red light again. And why would that be? Because of the West Midlands train service going into our airport. Anybody using it? That's the question. Probably not. I mean, it's not the most efficient mode of transport for us at the moment. It might get some use later on, perhaps. Although, I just, I just realised we haven't actually played it the most. I've got some new trains for us as well. Uh, we've got some LMS trains, a package of those. Um, what else have we got? Goodness me, I got we got quite a few. Well, there's a load of um, diesels coming that uh, are still quite a ways off, but we, we've got some more steam as well. Should we head over? This is Coventry. Um, I, I might want to do something with that bridge. But we're going to have to head over that way. We could have a look at the uh, new trains. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Not that we've done anything, so it wouldn't really matter. Let's have a look. Uh, what do we have? There's an LMS train there. LMS compound, 440. Love these. LNER, that's not a new one. Oh, this one looks interesting. I like, look. Look at that. LMS Hughes. In reverse as well. And the LMS Crab. Hungry all of a sudden. Largest ever built in Britain at nearly 50 foot long. Wow. We might have to put one of those on. I don't know. As well. I mean, it's red. We could have them on the Virgin trains. Right, what sort of speed do they do? 75 miles an hour. They're beastly. Fast passenger service. Lancashire and Yorkshire. I mean, we'll, we'll use them for our Midlands, though. I kind of like the looks of that. Look at all these. Suburban. Oh, these are amazing. Yes, so we've got those to come in. I think we should uh, we should put on that that giant one. When we uh, connect up here. I have slightly tweaked the flyover so we get more speed over it. Currently it's it's old track, wooden track. If we look at the speeds, it's maxed out now. Do you remember we slowed down to about 40 here? Now I had a look. When I built it, rebuilt it, they were doing about 100 and something. I know they're supposed to do 125, but the, the arc was getting a bit crazy and we've got to get up to Nuneaton at some point uh, same with this they're all doing about 75 we'll have to figure out what we're doing that end when we come to it there's a few bits here it's just the crossovers really that are quite slow this bit is a little slow unfortunately no I feel like that's okay we've got some things to do here with that mod I was telling you about but should we uh should we try and connect this up I think that would be the order of the day. Let's get let's get building, shall we? It's not really a difficult one. We're going to kind of head to the north of Walston, and then we 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 take a little bit of a curve up under Binley, and then connect back there. That that depot, our temporary depot, is is finally going, and then we'll have to figure out which trains are continuing through Coventry. And onto rugby. And I like that a lot because at the moment they're blocking needlessly because they're going in and coming back out. Alrighty then. Let's get building. I forgot to mention uh, the LMS packs are by Steve Magnet. They are added to the collection. So you can go ahead and grab those. If you don't have them, I somehow missed the collection. I didn't miss the black one. That was a, that was a new one. So let's uh, not do it like that. Soon we'll be doing it like that, that's for sure. Uh, but we're going to be doing it like this for now. We're going to kind of go straight. Long Lawford has uh, built back while we were messing about, but there wasn't much left of it. What I want to do is encourage him to go kind of over here somewhere. There is also a massive cement works here. We're going to have to figure out how to replicate that. There are some things we can use. Do I want to head down just yet not yet because they want the two to meet we're just going to head over that way and then we're going to come down gently with this keep it at 75 and eventually we're going to join up and then we've got a bit of a keep that like that and then i want to keep it at 75 i think that will replicate it just fine the reason we want to keep these flat 
for now, where make sure we're heading the right way, is because there is a crossover, or a couple of crossovers. Let's put them the right way round, shall we? It's this way. I'm going to imagine they might be quite quick, so I'm a little worried that that didn't continue. Why are you not continuing? Can we go out then? Can we start it from there, maybe? There we go. We'll make them 50. I don't know what the actual speed is. We can get 50-50. That'll be nice. I mean, probably a bit excessive, but I like it. That'll do us. Which would mean, let's signal this immediately. At least one of the, I mean, they, I want to thank people in Discord that it's kind of bi-directional for the most point, most part, but only in, uh, <laughs> only when things go wrong. And that doesn't really happen for us, he says. So we're going to keep it single direction, like up, down. But the main part, but around here, I think we're going to have, we're going to have to have some bi-directional sections. But that's cool. That, that should make some interesting train maneuvers through here, which as it gets busier, I'm really looking forward to that, actually. All right, let's continue. It's for the most part straight. And it's not till the last minute that we hook up. Uh, it is in a kind of cutting, so I do want to now, like, head down a bit. We'll see what what happens. We can always change parts of the track. Uh, this bit is raised up, then it heads down into cutting. Thank you, uh, Temporary Depot. You served as well. Obviously, this one is going to head that way. It's up in the air. Um, do you know what? I'll take a bridge here. I'll definitely take a bridge. There is one. I don't know what it's like, but we can change it if need be. We'll have that. We'll have like a little a bridge, arch bridge thing going. This would be the river going through here. I can't remember the river. Let's see if we can figure out the river. It goes through Warwick. It's Avon, the river Avon. There you go. It kind of ends here because we go too high. Fingers crossed we get better water. The newer one. Okay, we're, we've got to start heading round. And I'm going to say down. Because I want to get get us some cutting going. There we go. Just just a little bit. Not too much. There is some elevation on the track. And there are lots of... <laughs> not too much as I go. Plowing through the ground. There are some like foot bridges, road bridges and things going across. So that to me makes sense. In fact, let's make that a nice gentle all the way up to there. And we'll get down and have some good elevation change. Beautiful. Can we knock that down a touch more? You know what? I kind of prefer that. Let's do it like that. Then we're coming out again. Ready for the crossover. And that's your episode. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, oh, official episode. Got to say it. There we go. We're not going to get rid of that. All this cutting too much. We're just gonna just gonna gently smooth off the edges of it. Put it on low actually. Make sure I don't go too crazy with it. Anywhere that is a cutting and isn't on the track when it comes to cab ride time, we can always fake it by bringing up the rest of the ground. This should hopefully work okay. This is all going to be concrete for the most part in here, and that will look the business. There's no trees in there as far as I can remember. Well, okay. Got that in a little bit sharpish, didn't we? Get rid of all those, ready for concreting. We're in there, but we are sev severely lacking in signals along here. There's no blocking going on whatsoever. I just want to take the mud look out. I do like that. Okay, now things are kind of making sense. We won't do too much blocking. Because, as you know, you can't upgrade the signals. So we're just gonna we're just gonna put some in along here, but not too great. Not as much as I would normally do them. Just enough to uh, separate them a touch along here. It should space them out quite nicely for future stations too. That's what I'm hoping. There we go. We'll have that there. Some of these are gonna have to be one way, two way, I believe. So we'll do one here, 
This would have to be two-way because I believe you can swap tracks here, which is why it's like it is. So there we go. There's our first bit of confusion that's going to go disastrously wrong. <laughs> which means... How's this going to work? We have to figure out the blocking here, aren't we? There's probably going to be one there that's two-way. Because remember, that whole section's two-way. This is the direction of travel on this one, but this could equally be two-way because we've got a crossover point here too. Very confusing. But for the most part, I think we're about got it. This one's a bit further back, if I remember. Probably two-way. Who knows? This one will be at the end of the platform, maybe. Or level with that one. We'll call it level with that one. We'll put it two-way for now. Uh, we're going to have to do the same with this one, even though I don't think we'll use this two-way. Oh, dear. Anybody confused yet with this signaling? I know I am. Uh, so this is all going to have to be two-way as well, isn't it? Goodness me. Okay, so there'll be one here, oddly. Which means we could have a bit of a snarl up there, couldn't we? Well, you know, we'll have to plan accordingly. Let's try it. Well, we can't We can't put them two-way there. That won't work. Do you know, I'm not overly confident about that being like it is. How does that work? The only thing I can assume is it always goes over here this way. And then it must cross over back that way. That will be something for us to figure out. We've just got the signals in for now. As though they're one way. Even though they're not. If, I mean, if it doesn't work, they're kind of weird. Oh, let's zoom out. Probably be a bit easier. Let's try and line those up better. Not with a station. That doesn't make sense. And let's not smooth it either. All right, let's try and get the hose a little better lined up. I mean, they're not going to line up perfectly because they're on a curve. But, okay, that's better. That looks better. Rugby, I believe, had the uh, craziest, like, uh, array of semaphores ever it's like this huge thing look up uh, rugby junction on wikipedia and you should see the picture there or rugby station i should say all right more smoothing get that in this is going to be roughly where our giant cement place is and we'll utilize that by having great service operating in and out of there i'm thinking we utilize this as the freight service for the cement works even though it's not currently used, it is actually, I want to thank the person who uh, commented below the previous video. Uh, this would go up that way to Leamington Spa once upon a time. No longer, unfortunately. Okay, so that's in. Let's have a look at the signaling. We're going to keep this just a one-way system there. I don't know what we're doing with the junction yet. We're probably going to have to signal much better. There are some signaling plans around, so we can maybe get it right. In the great scheme of things, we're going to be heading this way. Having this here is worrying, but it is one way. A uh, two way signal. So it shouldn't block us as long as we have a, a signal somewhere here, which would be those two. I am getting a headache just trying to figure that out. I wasn't expecting to get that in. So we need to figure out whether we go up here first. Where's the Nuneaton? To Nuneaton, which is kind of snakes its way up there with some curves or whether we uh, sort the services out do you know what I'm tempted to get this up and running over there we're gonna have to uh, I want to keep this one flat for now I'm not entirely sure what we're doing with it there's some interesting uh, crossovers coming up which is why it makes me believe that this is this does some crazy stuff here this would be going that way. So this would be more than likely going the other way. But we are having it by direction. Do you know? I don't know. I don't know how this would work. I don't want to block them all. all. Right, here's my thinking. It would be something like that on the other side, but facing the other way. Like that. I'm not overly confident about my choices here. That looks fun. 
I like that, they'll dance. Because uh, you would be kind of heading this way. But, uh, yeah. We'll figure out what our entry points are and our blocking signals when we put the services in, which is going to be a equally confusing. Okay, so a little ways up from here, we're going to do... I'm going to keep heading that way. It doesn't matter if we go into cut-ins and stuff. Keep it straight. I would imagine these crossovers are quite quick. But it does this. Should we say uh, 50? I think 50 is good. Fairly quick. We go from there and make 50 again. There we go. That's, that's a thing that happens, which would mean they're two-way. And that would be... Now, this is the point where I believe they're one-way. We should be blocking there. That would be two-way. This would be blocking. And that would be blocking. Would No, this one wouldn't be. That outside one would for us. Anybody think it's going to go wrong? Yeah, me too. Then we've got a fun little dance in the middle. We're just going to head up this way. Where's Nuneaton? Let's make sure we're still heading towards it. Going to head up this way a little further. I don't know whether everyday use this is utilized. It might be because it's it's up fast, up uh, up slow, up fast, down fast, down slow, something like that. Up and down might be the other way around. I think that's down. So they would need to cross over at some point. Which is why I think we can get away with this, all this, setting this up one way. Because there's the two that branch there. The only bit I worry about is how you get over to that side from... Uh... Well, that's how you get over there. I feel like there's a crossover missing somewhere. Because this should be bi-direction. This should be two-way somehow. Maybe? I don't know. We're going to have to look at the map at the map. We will figure this out, and we'll have it running just like the real thing. Anyhow, we've got a little dance to do about here. Uh, we'll keep it 50. There's one there. I know, it's an excessive junction, this. We'll keep heading up to... We'll start making our way there. I want to get it roughly in the right place. It doesn't really matter, because we don't have any towns here. What we're going to do is have lots of fields. This will be our nice little greenery section. And we're also going to have uh, some industries there that can uh, do various things. And we'll go again with 50. And then uh, we do the opposite. We do the same here of what, what's going on there. So we head out at 50 like that. Keep it. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you can just do it. Let me see 50. There we go. So we have that, and we have that. Now, and this is the point where I say... This is the one-way section for us. Yes. And yes. It would be like that. Yep, that's right then. Uh, this would also be... That would be two-way, wouldn't it? Goodness me. Or would it? No, this would be one-way. Yeah, that would be one-way. Has to be one-way. That has to be two, two way. A little concern we'll get a bit of a snarl up going on. No, 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 no. That can't be two way. That is also one way. Welcome to GT gets confused with weird blocking. That can be two way. That one. Yes. And so can this one. I think that's about right. That has to be two-way. Well, this is an entire block for us. From here to there, to there, to there. This has to be one way, surely. Because there's no other way over there. It's just here where you cross over. Brilliant. I think we've got it. This could technically be two-way, yes. All right, guys, we've got that. First off, one of these goes to a one-track. Not one, well, single-track. 
be up. If I'm if I'm right with that being up. So we'll continue that on. You're doing some wonderful things there. I would just like you to join there, if possible. I don't know how far it'll be. We're going to curve out, and then we're going to curve in again. And then we'll head straight up to... Uh, there's kind of a little bow in the track. As long as we keep it at a decent speed. This one here joins in like that. And I guess we go with 50 if possible. If not, we're going to have to bring it back a touch, aren't we? Will that go... Do you know, I'd like 55. Do 55 there. Depends how much room we've got after the junction. Yeah, well, that's perfect. That should give us enough room. These will definitely be one way. There we go. Like so. It goes down to three tracks. We might as well just put uh, another one here, which is one way. Yes, one way. Do you know, we might get... Uh, this is the Trent Valley line. That's the West Coast main line heading up that way to Coventry. We're putting our little curve in. The M6 should be coming to meet us. This is going to go across the top of us. So if we can dig it down a bit, that will be great. And we're going to curve back round. Oh, we do dig down. I like it. We must be heading about the right way then. All right, from that point, what have we got up here? Yeah, from this, about that point, up to there, it, it's three track all the way. So that, that saves a little confusion. There is also, I want to do this a bit better because there's also a little bits of the track where it kind of doesn't, doesn't stay with the rest of the track. And we're going to have to get really close to do this. I want that to just come out a touch and come back round as long as it's not too slow. So it just comes out. It'll just add to the scenery for cab rides. I mean, I don't mind it slowing down because that is the slow line. Just so we can get some whatever's in here. Bits of gravel and stuff. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Right. And then we'll continue heading up to meet with our uh, Nuneaton up there. So we're going to have to go a bit more aggressive. It's, it's kind of how it works. Uh, it's not perfect. But giving us some uh, some cornering and stuff to do. I like this. I like the look of that. It, it stops it from being just a straight old track. And it's not a straight old track. Question is, how will that look? I like that. We're going. We're going with it. There we go. Beautiful. We're in. Okay, and then this comes in here. I don't know whether that would be that quick, but we'll have it in anyway. I don't know why that does that then, but uh, it does. <laughs> so, so we'll have it. That would be one way. Right, do you know, I, I want more of that. I, I think that's going in too soon. Looking at the map, that's going in a little too soon. We want a bit more of four track in here. In fact, it does a, it does a little space thing. And, and this goes out again at the same point. If we go like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a track in the middle when we when we go back to four tracks. This is four tracks, yes. But what I want to do, bear with me, this is where we're going to go back to four. Just here. This middle one isn't technically going to be there. We're going to go like that. And this one is going to be deleted. And we're going to go in there because it, it this is pretty much what it does. We'll make it smoother. We keep it 75. Make sure that's well, it's a, little, a little too much. There we go. We'll go from there instead. And that gives us what's going on there. And then we'll come in like that. I don't know whether that will be very quick. We've got some more bowing sections. 
back here too, just before this. And whether we can fit it in. Yeah, we can probably fit another one in. If we send this bit out straight, you see, there, and head straight instead, but not up. I don't know whether it is up, actually. It might be. Who knows? There are some track variations. But that breaks it up and stops it from being just, you know, four-way track, all stuck together forever. I, I like that much better. Okay, so that's going to be one way, just there. This is crazy, isn't it? I like it though. That's going to be one way. We can we can have one kind of there and there one way. I mean, eventually we're going to have to re-signal all this, but uh, with modern day signals, we'll have another one, another section here. One there. There we go. That should do us for now. That's a decent bit of blocking. We're going to have some more up here. Right, there's another section just before this splits off that I don't think we have up here. No, we don't. Which is a, a fast moving again. So I want to go 50. Maybe 55. No, 50 should do because we're leaving the station. There we go. There's one like that. Which will give us an opportunity to uh, add some more blocking. Beautiful. I think we've got it, guys. Enough distance from here. We are connected all the way to Rugby. To Nuneaton. In fact, we go all the way up to uh, Atherston up there, which is barely ever used. I think that's the one that we look at. Arts Hill there. There we go. We all remember that. Uh, we haven't been to Nuneaton for a while to actually add services. But I'm looking forward to that. Look at all these rocks everywhere. They're not even the sexy rocks. <laughs> I've seen that mod. I'm, I haven't managed to put it in yet. It does look pretty good though. All right, guys. We are in. I'm going to have to quickly look up which services we have running <laughs> and figure out which ones are going to rugby. We're going to start with a new service. <laughs> um, technically, it's an interesting one. It's the London Euston to Birmingham New Street service. Only stops at Rugby one way. It doesn't have many stops. It's uh, London Euston to Watford, Coventry, Birmingham International and Birmingham New Street one way. And the opposite way, it stops at Rugby instead of Watford Junction. So, what we're going to do, it's going to be a bit of a mess here. Um, that's all I'm saying. However, we're going to make it work <laughs> as best we can. We're going to do the version that uh, is going from Birmingham New Street. So we'll start there. And then on the way back, uh, we'll pretend that it's it's coming from Watford Junction instead. I don't know how we're going to do that, actually, in the great scheme of things. It's probably going to have to terminate at Milton Keynes instead for us. We'll figure out how we can fix that. Or we could just have it running backwards and forwards since we don't have Watford Junction. So it'll be a, a kind of a a strange one close to accurate considering we don't have Watford on the map so yeah yep yeah, let's do that we're using Milton Keynes on our map as London Euston that'll be the turnaround point we could actually maybe thinking about it bear with me we could have a little underground section where all the trains turn around right at the edge of the map that is sort of tempting to represent them going off to London Euston so they can fly through Milton Keynes if possible. Anyhow, should we get a new line in? Let's do it because we've got the new LMS trains. And then them, that beastie one. Uh, thanks to Steve Magnet. So here we go. It is a uh, Virgin service. And it's going to be the uh, London Euston to Birmingham. Birmingham. New Street. It's going to be yet another, yet another series, uh, service, <laughs> yet another series. So Birmingham New Street, we're starting at P6. That's where we're starting. And then we're off to Birmingham International P4, all the way. And let's look for the airport. We're down here somewhere. So we're going to be on P4. I just realized that it might not have even been the right way around. But uh, yes, there we go. 
Then we're straight into Coventry. From there, we're skipping all the things. Coventry, we're going P1. I believe that's the right way around. That looks the right way around. And then uh, we're we're going to which rugby is it? <laughs> I think it's P5, which would make sense, except we've got to turn round P4, so we want... So if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it actually wants to be 2. And it does sort of make its way out of there. Okay, we're obviously going to get a bit of a crazy situation going on here. Not looking forward to that. Especially with a the signal there. As long as we only have yeah, no, see, that could that could back us up a bit. We can't have this signal. We can only have one signal, one at either end. I think that's how that worked. I'm not sure how to do that. In fact, if if we think about it, we only want it to be a signal here. Because that's the way it would be going, but not one way that will mess everything up. So it'll be kind of more like that. Meaning we wait here. Should there be any other trains using that service. Okay, so that's where we're at at the moment. Get rid of that. That's where we're at. Then uh, when we come back, we're going to be going to Coventry. Again. And this time we're going to be stopping at P3. Oh, well done. Game did it right. Beautiful. And then uh, all the way back to Birmingham International. This time we want to be stopping on oh, P3 again. That makes sense. Perfect. And then we're back to six. So there's our new service. Do we have... I can't remember how we get on here without existing depots. Do we have a depot that we can jump on here? We can't get that way round. Uh, we have we have one here. It's miles away. We we kind of don't mind. It'll be it'll be a bit of a long old stretch, wouldn't it? I mean, technically, right? We could use any any uh, of our depots that kind of head that way. Or you silly sausage, what we could do is uh, have a temporary depot just here of course which would do something like that for now hopefully come on you can go and you can't can you i guess what you want to do really if you think about this sensibly is go like that and then like that or you could probably just fit in there there we go that's for that one this one isn't going to be used just yet we'll do something similar here doesn't matter what it looks like, how it behaves, because they're going to be our temporary depots, if need be. We'll delete all that. Just remind me. <laughs> I know someone's going to remind me in the comment. Right, let's get our depot in, our temporary one. Which, for temporary, it's always going to be those. There we go, beautiful. This is the one that's going to be our new Virgin service. So let's use that beastly LMS train. Because I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Is it this one? The Hughes? The 50 foot long Hughes. Uh, they are red anyway. They're just going to be garishly red for us. Because we don't want to confuse them with the cross country services. Which are the, the darker reds. Let's get us some passenger wagons. Ooh, we have the uh, generic LMS coach. That is beautiful. I mean, that'll do, right? That is kind of spot on. I mean, we've got no brake car. Don't matter. I don't know how long these are, but it's a it's a beastly train. Let's see. Should we put one, two, three, four, five, six? Uh, this is kind of a seven car train. One more. Should we go with that? I don't know what the speed will be like. How many are we going to have running it? They're not very... I think they're hourly. We'll have three. For now. It is London, Houston to Birmingham, New Street. Houston. Not Houston. Houston. Uh, but it's the... The obvious... Oh, do you know, actually, we didn't choose the bright red, did we? We chose the slightly off red. That's awkward. Sell those. No, just sell those. Let's redo that, but not have it bright red. 
Take that off. Choose that red. I don't know whether these can be coloured, but we're taking them back off. Steam. Let's get this back on. Uh, we're going for that red. This might be closer to what it is anyway. Uh, if we don't colour that... Well, you see, I don't think we should colour it. Let's have it in its its natural natural colours. <laughs> Whatever that is. Right, and these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven we went for, right? That's 145. Eight. I don't know how that's going to pull that. It's a nice big train, isn't it? I do like that. Do you want to go for one more? We got nine, technically, if this was a... More, you know, no. Because we're not pulling anything. We're not pushing at the back. Let's try that. We're nine. See how it goes. One, two, three. Set line all. Let's do this. We'll change the color of that line as well because it's confusing. We'll buy those. Slight panic there. Oh, look at these gold stripes. All right, let's get this line. Uh, change it to that because that's closer to virgin colors and we're going to look at these trains coming out guys our first train at rugby station let's hear the sounds come on here it comes oh my word that sounded amazing lms beast of a train i like it i like it that's a nice long train, isn't it? Look at the little badge on there. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, we can't see much there, though. I want to see this pull off from the platform. I mean, we're going to have plenty of room. Look at that. Our first serious express train on our lines. We're, we're, we're going places now, guys. Do we want to get on this one? Should we get on and end the episode like that? I told you it's going to be a bit of a shorter one. But I, I kind of don't know now. <laughs> oh. That is amazing. Alright, away goes our LMS. Beast. That's not what it's called. Oh, I love the clickety-clack sounds. What a beautiful sound. He is on the way to Birmingham New Street from Rugby. All right, quick edit there because the dog went barking mad. I, I got I got jokes. Anyhow, change of plan. I, I had a change of heart. We've got a uh, London a London Midland trains service or whatever. It, I can't remember it. London. <laughs> oh. Anyway, this one. We've got to figure out which one this is. So one that stops at Marston Green. And Hampton in Arden, which is the one I'm looking at, fortunately. So this one, we should extend to Rugby, as it does stop there. And we're going to make it stop at... So where's Coventry? So after Coventry, we want to actually go to Rugby. In here, this one stops at P2, so it'll be over there. Hopefully that'll work. Yeah, and it kind of sorts it out there. Uh, it actually stops at... I think P5 the other way around. Now, we're going to have to stop back at Coventry again. Like so. On the way back from... Ru this is confusing. <laughs> On the way back ro from Rugby, it stops at P3. That's right. And then when we're coming back the other way, it's P2. There, like that. That makes sense. So we've got that sorted out. Fortunately, the two trains we got, we're going to... Uh, we're going to need to add uh, another London Midlands service. It's not London Midlands, is it? It would be uh, London Northwestern Railway. That's it. I'm looking it up for us so I don't keep saying it wrong. And the other one is West Midlands Railway. And the operator for both of them is West Midlands Trains. If you've, if you've stuck with the episode that long, you'll know I got it right eventually. Okay. I'll stop saying that wrong. So we're going to have to add another London Northwestern Railway service that does something similar to this, but it stops at a few different ones here. But that will be good because that will make that a little busier. How many vehicles do we have on here? We have four. If we're going to be doubling up with this one, I, I mean, the AI is not really going to like it. There's our lovely tile, tile hill. 
Should we keep these trains or should we replace them? What have we currently got running on here? What is it? It is a GWR. What have we got down here? The crab. That sounds like a freight train. I could be wrong. Mixed traffic services. All right. That only does 48 miles an hour, unfortunately. The Royal Scot. That does 90. That's got to be... I should have had that as the Virgin service. We wanted to have a look at those other ones. What's the Suburban? 65. Now, maybe this one? And then we got the LMS2P, which we, we could... We're a bit naff. <laughs> that's excellent. We could use these. They do 55. I would like something that's uh, a little up there, given their track speed. Uh, 90. We should have had these the other way around, shouldn't we? We should have had these pulling... I mean, it seems a bit much. The power and tractive effort is amazing on them. Uh, the crab's a bit too slow. I feel like we should have had those on. Um, do you know what, then? We'll go... What were these up here? There's some more LMS up here. What were these? These were 55. There's the LMS black as well. I don't know whether we have that yet. No, we don't have that yet. Should we go for the Suburban? I mean, why not, right? Let's put it on there. Oh, well, that's interesting. Not what I wanted to do. Let's take one off first. And we'll add it on there. Passenger. Could we ha add a couple more on there? Generic SR. These don't colour. So we don't want to put those on. Suburban. There you go. They, they match. I don't know. We'll just have the same amount on. But uh, they're bigger carriages. So there we go. And then we'll have a rear brake car. I like that, don't you? Replace those now. Do that. That makes a good episode. I think when we come back then, we'll add the other London North Western Railway Service. And uh, for now, I guess we can get on our, our new train here. Which might be short-lived, as we might swap it for that 90 mile an hour one. Let's jump on board. And, and we'll call that an episode. It, it probably ended up being roughly a, a normal length episode, I think. <laughs> so, there we go. Let's get on board. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not get on board. Details. How is the... Mediocre, we'll take it. We'll, we will take that. Let's jump on board then. Now let, let's shove the mouse out of the way. Alright guys, I don't know how far we're going on this train. <laughs> but that sounds absolutely brilliant. Loving that sound. Uh, we're probably going to be stopping at Rugby first. We are, so that's superb. We get to hear the whistle again. That has been episode 48. We have connected Rugby uh, via the Trent Valley line up to Nuneaton and the West Coast Main Line going towards Coventry. Timing. <laughs> On Sunday, we'll add another London Northwestern Railway service. It kind of intertwines with the other one. And then uh, we've got four and four on that doing the, the full run. Well, almost the full run. We will do the junction, the other side of rugby, the east side of rugby. Uh, starting to think about heading to Long Buckby and all the places uh, down that way. Further down south, we're going across here. It's not detailed up yet. It will look a little better. We'll try and hide that masking issue. A little unfortunate. I think once we can go all the way through to Northampton and Milton Keynes and stuff like that, we might need to sort that out. It looks like a bit of a dip, but that's fine. We can do that. We can tidy it up now we know where it's going. And that's been your lot. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. A bit of track lane. Uh, bit of a dip there. Does it, Actually, that doesn't matter, does it? There are bits of dips and wonks in the track. As I, as I say occasionally, <laughs> we'll take it. It's a bit sparse out here. There's going to be some fields, I think. Lots of fields this way. There'll be some bushes and trees at the side as well. Uh, and we'll, we'll head to Coventry then. And, and maybe go through Tile Hill at least. And maybe Hampton and Arden, depending on traffic. Once we get to Coventry, because we're going to be getting closer to uh, to the busy stretch of our our network. 
So if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I want to thank everybody who's been subscribing recently. We, we crept over 1,600, which is amazing. I still don't know why. <laughs> I'm just glad you're enjoying uh, my foray in, in Transport Fever as much as I enjoy doing it. Uh, that, and that's your lot, guys. Uh, look forward to seeing you on Sunday. And congratulations again to Jesse101 Gaming for retaining the crown of Station Master. And uh, until Sunday. Take care. Oh, no, no, no. That's not how I end it. Until next time. <laughs> Take care.